Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and today I'm pumped to jump into the computer with you here and talk about how in the world do you figure out how many house lights you need in a space if you're if you're looking to switch to LED house lights and then how we can help you. When it comes to determining house lights for a, a space, there's kind of two ways that this conversation often gets started, right? You either have a new build where you're building a new facility, um, an architect or someone else may have put, you know, a bunch of non-dimming can lights or, you know, fluorescent fixtures in a space and, and you get brought along and you say, no, 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 we, we want to have AV. We want to have the ability to control this stuff, uh, hopefully change colors and stuff. Maybe, um, you know, that's not going to work. Right. And then the other time that this gets brought up is in a retrofit situation, right? There are so many buildings out there, obviously that exist where you've got an incandescent fixture, maybe somebody's put in fluorescent or metal halide, which are ugly and typically don't dim. Um, or maybe, you know, it's a bunch of incandescent cans that have been retrofitted with LED bulbs and now they don't dim well and you just want to get the right thing, get that LED fixture in there that has power and data separate so that you get that smooth dimming all the way down to the bottom. You get the color options, individual control if you want it, all that good stuff. So then the question becomes, how many lights do you actually need, right? Because in, especially in the retrofit situation, which is what we run into a lot, a lot of people just go, oh, you know, I've got a space and it's got 25 lights in it lighting this area. Then I'm just going to find an LED fixture that gets, that gets a lot of positive press and I'm going to get 25 of those, right? But ultimately, the characteristics, the beam angle, the brightness of your LED fixture might be completely different than whatever you had in that space. And it may work. It may work well. For example, we have a church right now that we're working with that uh, they have a lot of can lights, uh, big 500 watt par ones. And, you know, there was an LED house light with a 30 degree beam that matched up exactly with what they need. Um, in their space, one to one will really make a nice a nice setup, and they won't have to do a ton of drywall work on on their their ceiling, which is drywall. You know, uh, they'll just be able to replace those can lights. But more often than not, it doesn't work out that way, right? Like just to tell you a story, for example, in my church, and we can pull up the file here in a few minutes if we want. Uh, you know, we went and replaced gym lights with LED type fixtures. And the layout of gym lights to LED fixtures was completely different. Uh, the gym lights were nasty, inconsistent, and half-broken. And the LED fixtures uh, provide really, really nice lighting. Um, but um, we didn't just go one for one. We didn't just go take down the gym lights and put an LED fixture in every spot. Because ultimately, it wouldn't have been the best solution. Uh, for the space. It would have been spotty. Um, we would have had areas that were darker. We would have had areas that were too bright um, because the way that the gym lights were put out and, and arranged just wouldn't be the same as an LED fixture. So you might be asking yourself, okay, how do we figure this out? Well, the first thing you really want to figure out is how bright do you need your space to be? And this is like, this is opening a big can of worms, right? You can go out there and for example, just do a web search like I did for the IES, the Illuminating Engineering Society um, recommend, recommended light levels. A lot of these different companies that sell like electrical stuff have these charts on their site that pull the data from those uh, standards. And if you go through here, I mean, there are tons and tons and tons of recommendations for different specific types of spaces. Um, and if you're doing a church sanctuary or an exhibit hall or a theater, you can look at this list and you can go, oh, you know, assembly slash auditoriums. Okay, that might be what we're looking for, you know, or maybe we're, we're really needing um, a classroom because usually there's, there's a spot for classroom that's, that's separate from that, right? And if you start to look at these standards, you go, okay, 
in foot candles, which is how I like to work just because that's what I was taught to use. And it is the standard technically American unit for measuring this as opposed to Lux, which is what you're going to see a lot out there. And, and they do convert directly. Um, it's like feet and meters. But in, in recommended foot candles, you'll see stuff, you know, you'll go, oh, you know, maybe we need auditorium. Maybe we just need five to 10 foot candles throughout the space. Okay. But maybe auditorium with exhibition or some of these charts have one that's like auditorium where you're taking notes with audio visual, you might need 25 or 30 foot candles where the, the taking notes comes in. A lot of times you want to be up at 30 foot candles. Now the difference between five and 30 foot candles is obviously a ton, right? Because I mean, five times six is 30. That's six times the light. So which one do you need and how do you know if your lights are going to meet that need? Well, that is the ultimate question. Uh, that's the question we ask when we get started in this process with people is, okay, how bright do you need it to be? Because if you only need, you know, a fifth of the brightness, you're going to need less lights or a less powerful light, which is going to shave a lot of costs, right? If you do need, we, we do recommend for most spaces, a lot of the time, we say 25 to 30 foot candles is what we really want to see across that space because that's where you bring the fixture up to full or pretty much darn full and you've got a really nice wash of light. It feels bright. It doesn't feel dark and dingy. And sure, during events, during different things, you don't have to have it that bright. But for cleaning, for, uh, you know, events that are not your typical event with production on a stage, you know, where you might have a banquet, you might have um, something where the AV is not used at all in the space, like a, a flea market, you know, something like that, uh, you're going to want that brighter light level, okay? Uh, but on the other hand, if you go and you say, okay, budget's more important to us, you know, we're a church that really doesn't go very bright with our lighting, then we can go with a less bright fixture and save some money in the process. So that's really the first step is you've got to decide, okay, how bright do I need the space to be? That's your starting point. Then it's time to start modeling things out. And so at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, we use a program called Dialux. Um, it's a free architectural design program. They have a paid version, but the free does everything you need. And what you look for is an IES file from your manufacturer, um, or they can be created. Okay. So for example, my top one here, uh, somebody was in here and they were looking at the ADJ Cobb Cannon Wash DW. Uh, this one is actually uh, my church where we modeled it out. I can click on it there. And uh, we use the Gamma Pen Excel fixture, okay? Um, and so what we ended up doing is just modeling it out uh, using a similar fixture because we didn't have an IES file and uh, looking at um, the spread across the room, uh, not having any lights, adding them in, but not having any lights over the stage. And then we go ahead and we calculate it out. And it spits out a map to us that says, okay, we are in most spaces in this room, 30 to 35 foot candles. Now, most times you're going to see this and you see all these dots and squiggly bits and you go, oh, that looks really funky. But in real life, our, our eyes are more forgiving than that. Um, and so um, really, as you move these around, it definitely takes the eye of a lighting designer a little bit to understand, okay, is what I'm looking at uh, really good or is it not? Okay, so we use a program like this. We, we can bring in different fixtures. We can try different stuff out. Uh, this is really what you want to do when you are deciding on that house light layout so that you know the layout that you choose is going to work. And this helps us figure out the ideal layout. Of course, you need to check once uh, somebody gets this layout to you, like we'll help people out with, is you got to check, okay, can I physically hang lights in all those positions, right? Or there might be air ducts uh, or something else keeping you from, from hanging lights in a particular spot, at which point you may need to tweak the design. Okay, so this can be a little bit of a complicated process. Um, you know, the first time I did it, I know it took me a couple hours, uh, maybe more to figure it out. Um, and then we can do them relatively quickly because we do these a lot for people. But uh, what we're introducing here as well is instead of the DIY approach, if you're looking to lay things out and, and simulate, okay, 
How many lights do I need in my space? Over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear, we actually have a new calculator helping you exactly with that. So we had somebody create this for us where you can fill out your information. You can fill out your space. So let's say we've got a 100 by 50 room, 16 feet tall. Uh, and that would be your room height, or it could be the height that you hang the fixture at if you want to hang it lower. So like I know my church, we hung the fixtures. The bottom is at 16 feet but the room height is 20 to 25 feet on a slope okay then it asks you what your brightness is we just have two options to keep it simple either a dimmer or a uh, our often recommended 25 to 30 foot candle what color fixture you want any notes you have and then you can send that into us and what that does is this calculator just takes some data that we made based on experience and visualizations in dialogues where uh we've modeled out all these different fixtures and this will get you a rough estimate of how many fixtures you need and it'll email you and it'll email us to let to let us know about it and then we can dive deeper with you we can take a minute and model it out especially if your room's not just a rectangle but even if your room is just a rectangle and we can say okay this is what the calculator put out here we're putting it in the software and it comes out maybe we can shave a few fixtures off maybe we add a couple fixtures maybe it's spot on um, uh, and so this is a really cool resource uh, if you are looking to figure out a house light layout because it's not always easy to do um, that hopefully will help you do a better job with it um, we've got some of our favorite fixtures in here uh, that it's going to recommend, it's going to go between, but we'll go ahead and really dive in, put your data in, look at all of the different fixtures that we have access to, which is a lot of different house light fixtures uh, from all the major brands, and be able to tell you really what we think the best fit is. Um, because ultimately, we want you to get the right thing for your needs and so whether that be uh that maybe you were thinking the other day we had somebody come in they were uh specked out to them by another company a really really bright fixture in a space that just didn't need it we were able to swap something out and they're able to save a lot of costs that way um, to get something that still will make the space feel bright will be sufficient but wasn't as bright as what they were originally intending if that sounds good if you're interested in having us help you figure out your house lights maybe how many you could need where you could put them hop over to learn stage lighting gear we would love to help you out with this new calculator thank you so much and if you have any questions about this or anything else hit us up over at learn stage lighting gear we're glad to help you and ultimately as house light models change as things are always uh st different we want to stay on top of this and, and we want to be the place to go to as your house light experts so that if you have any questions about would this model work would that model work what would be the best fit for my space we'll let you know we'll get you a quote and we'll be able to help you out over at learn stage lighting gear awesome thanks so much for watching be sure to subscribe here check out our reviews as well of all the lights we review over at learn stage lighting gear you don't want to miss out on that thank you so much have a great day see ya